Hello, friends. Welcome to the F Society IRC podcast, a Mr. Robot review show. I'm your host, Hiroja Shai. Hello, friends. This is Hiroja Shai, your inconsistent podcaster, here for the uh, final season of Mr. Robot. So we are at the end, my friends. We are at the end. So let's kind of get into it. So, this is what we know so far was been revealed, and this is something that was announced uh, when it was decided that this was going to be the last season. Uh, this takes place during Christmas time, which um, is still in the year 2015, so we have not yet left that year. Uh, pretty much the last three seasons have taken place in 2015, with the initial first season was it like in 2014, and so we've experienced a lot and it seems like forever on this show but uh it's really just been a few months of seeing this very slice of life this universe that elliot mr robot and these characters have been playing in and to be honest from the things i have seen like the previews that they have been releasing um i have no idea what what's going to happen to be honest um but it looks like it's going to be epic. It looks like, uh, you know, Elliot's going to be in a bit of pickle. Uh, it looks like Darlene's going to be showcasing her, her subterfuge, her hacking skills of, like, hacking people. Uh, White Rose is just full-on villain mode. Uh, we still have Price, but we haven't really seen much of Angela. So we don't know if she'll make good on her promise to take the Washington Township plant from White Rose yet. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Uh, it looks like there's still chaos in the streets, like the economy still shit, if you will. But things have kind of somewhat pick, picked up a little bit, but it could be just what people do around the holidays where they put on a bright face and smile, this facade that everything's okay when everything's not. There's still the Veer factor. We don't know how he plays into this last bit of narrative. There's still Tyrell Wellick. He's been very prominent in the um, the promos for the show. Mr. Robot and Elliot seems to be in hand in hand this time, like on the same page. But given the two have butted heads in the past, we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, and the things I'm looking for, you know, I'm looking forward to Irvin. I'm looking forward to seeing how Dom's new role as the mole for F, uh, not F Society, but uh, the Dark Army works out. I would like to see her do her turn and, you know, be the hero that we know she really is. Like, the really last good person in this verse is Dom and seeing how she does what she does best, really. Um, yeah, so I don't have really much to say as far as predictions. I do think so pretty much it's going to end bloody because there's really no way to realistically uh, end this show. I know there's a lot of fantastical elements. I think we're still, or there's still some in the community that are hoping like the Washington Township plant is what White Rose says it is. And it's like a time hacking machine. There's that multiverses and... Maybe this is all like some flashback thing of Elliot telling all the past events and, you know, in his unreliable narrative form. Uh, love to see how Leon pops up and just blah, 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 people. I do want, I do want, I hope, before the season ends for the show, I do hope that Trenton and Mulvey get some redemption arc. Some kind of like, no, they weren't part of this. No, they didn't do it. It's all false type of deal. I think that would do some justice for the characters that really they were trying to stop this and they got framed. Something to that extent. Uh, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. I just hope they stick the landing. I have a feeling that they will. I, you know, I pretty much believe in Sam Esmail. You know, I did watch Homecoming even though I didn't do a review for it. I'm looking forward to the second season. I know he has another show called Briar Patch with, um, why am I blanking on, Rosario Dawson is also coming out. 
that's a new thing for him. I also know he's doing the Battlestar Galactica reboot, so that will be very interesting to see what his take on that subject matter is. Uh, but I'm glad, like, this is something that's now happening in television where shows are allowed to end how they want to end, um, at their own pace, at their own way of ending. You know, you have the good place ending the season. Um, you have the, not the wire, well, the wire ended how I wanted to end. Um, Sopranos, yeah, but, um, like, shows that, you know, were kind of on the thin line, and oftentimes with those type of shows, particularly genre shows, they just cut and you leave hanging so in this case this show is ended the way it did i didn't watch timeless but timeless was able to kind of end the way it wanted to um game of thrones ended the way it wanted to and i know it is what it is but i guess walking dead might be ending the way it wants to and the fear i'm not sure if this is the last season because there's still like a lot of big actors that are leaving the show but i know the comic books ended the way they wanted to so we'll see i think it's good for the art form of television uh for stories to have like the beginning the middle and particularly since we're doing this very serialized format which really began um, with Babylon 5, and then they had Deep Space Nine, and then you have The Sopranos, and The Wire, and those type of shows that made it possible, Battlestar Galactica for sci-fi. A little bit of Farscape has some serialized stuff, like not in the beginning, but solely like lean into it. Um, seeing these shows, you know, get their conclusions. And we'll see if they stick to learning. I, I don't think they're gonna answer all our questions. I don't think everyone's going to be satisfied with everything, but that's pretty much been the motto <laughs> of the show. This is a show that makes you think. This is a show that's rewatchable. This is a show that's also very bingeable, where you can watch through the the whole thing and get like uh, encapsulated. Like each, each season, you know, has their own themes. The first season being like the heist. The second season being like the the escape, if you will, or, or attempts to escape. Uh, the third season was very much like a haunting of what the, the actions that occurred between first season and the sexy, second season and seeing you know the consequences becoming fully, fully realized if you will and then the fourth season is I guess you can say it seems like the last hurrah, the last stand, the last fight if you will to expose the one percent to the world, the, the people that control everything and take them down. Hopefully this time around Elliot, Mr. Robot, Darlene, the gang, or if he has any new allies, are able to do this without taking the world down. <laughs> Pretty much with them. I think I think at this point, it, no one's getting out. No one's getting out alive, if you will. So that's it. I will be reviewing this show. I'm going to do a um, live reaction West Coast edition of the show as it is broadcasting. My initial reactions if you will and then a quick thought about the episode and then a full um, review which I think I'll put out on a uh, Tuesday kind of give a day for it to sit with me and then um, put it out so that is it my friends I don't have my mask and hat I can't find it I put it in a box it went in the box the box went somewhere it's in some closet tore the, ha the house garage everywhere and I, I have no idea I'm just hoping it wasn't tossed but hopefully I will get those either back or I'll just get some new ones soon so until next time my friend oh I was on the Mr. Rewatch podcast I've done that before we talk about our thoughts and feelings about what to expect for the season I have a link in the show notes there were other podcasters or people that talk about the Mr. Robot show as well sharing their thoughts and then the Mr. Rewatch also did a wonderful like little brief uh, mini recap of each of the first seasons again I will link to the show notes uh, for them it's a great uh, podcast um, show I also have a link in the show notes for a few other podcasters as well as um, youtubers that I think I'm doing have done a um, great job reviewing Mr. Robot and are people I look forward to talking about the show so until next time, friends, this is Rosha Shive, your moderator of this channel, and I'm logging off for now.